All right. So then the other thing we're going to do is we're going to take a one diamond. Okay. And we're also going to take, let's see if we have any lapis lazuli. Oh, I think we do inside of puppy. Puppy, do you have some? Yes. Yes, you do. All right. So if we remember from this book, Materials in You, um, I believe that this has um, a whole bunch of modifiers, which um, which need to, we need to look at. Uh, yes. All right. So um, a diamond uh, gives extra durability and increases the the, um, the mining level, which we don't need. So we're not actually going to add the diamond to it. Um, adding an emerald makes it more durable, and um, we don't need that either. But we do need to add redstone, because redstone will make it faster. And that's good. Um, and uh, we don't need auto smelt, because that's, that's a one-to-one. -one. But we are going to add luck to it, which is a lot... Uh, lapis lazuli. What this does is that when we go, to, when we add lapis lazuli to the tool, um, every time that we go and we open something, like we mine something like coal or redstone or um, diamond or anything like that, there's a chance that it will increase the number of them that we get. From my experience, when you add this luck to uh, a um, a pick, it dramatically increases the amount of materials that you get um, that are not ore. So that is something I'm definitely adding. Sharpness, we don't need on this. Fiery, again, we don't need that either. Um, necrotic, we don't need. Um, silky is something that you could put on there, um, and it allows the, the blocks to be um, um, you know, more to be better harvested, but it's, it's not compatible with luck. So I find luck to be better than silky. It, it's personal preference, really. Um, and reinforce, which we already have. Knockback, which we don't need. Beheading, we don't need. Um, we definitely don't need Bane Arthropods or Smite. Uh, electric, we are, we're adding flux, so we don't need that when here is flux. Um, and if you add a block of gold and a diamond, so that's, uh, that was why I grabbed that diamond. They'll add another, uh, stack of something that we can, or another effect that we can put on it. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and make this block of gold. Okay, and we have the lapis, and we have some redstone. Okay, all right, so we're going to go over to the tool forge again. And we're going to put this here. And we're going to put the block of gold, oops, block of gold, and a diamond. And that will give us another modifier that we can put on it. All right, so um, we're going to add start adding luck all right and you know um, for future reference I'm just showing you how this works um, for right now and you can see that now I have nine of 450 so this takes a while but in the future there's a really quick way to do this which is creating blocks of, you know, uh, items, like blocks of lapis and stuff. So actually, what I'm going to do is take my pickaxe, and I'm going to create blocks of redstone here. Uh, so let me just uh, look at block of redstone. Oh, <laughs> it's on page two. Okay, block of redstone. There we go. 
and we'll make six of them. Okay, here we go. We'll add this. This will give us speed. Oh, and that doesn't actually work because uh, it levels uh, with the redstone. So we actually have to add the five manually here. And I am totally fine with there being um, with me using a large amount of materials for this because it's it's really going to pay off. Um, so, but we're going to stop here just because you know that'll be easier for us. So we our modifiers are he, on here are flux, lapis, reds, and um, sorry, stone bound, reinforced, luck, and haste. Um, and flux. And I will show you in just a moment here after we fill this up with um, with energy here. Let's uh, add this in and you can see that it's adding some energy here and this will just take a minute. So what I'm going to do after this adds the energy is I'm going to show you just how much faster uh, this works than the uh, uh, <clears throat> than the um, diamond pickaxe. Uh, it's pretty remarkable, actually. Um, and again, you know, this took us you know a couple of episodes to make. Um, but you know, ultimately, what it's going to do is it's going to allow us to um, work that much faster to create things with. Right, and eventually we're gonna make a sword like this. That'll make it easier for us to kill and also loot items off of mobs, because we're gonna need a lot of Ender pearls. So we're gonna have to hunt down some Endermen. Um, and it's better, you know, if we can fight them where we kill them in one or two hits, and also kill them um, and get make sure that we get at least one item off of each one of them that we kill. Uh, as well, I'm going to do the same thing um, to build a fast, um, a fast shovel. And um, how you can do that is there's something called an excavator that you can build. And what that does is it it um, will take a three by three, um, and it will um, uh, shovel all of the blocks in a three by three, either vertically or horizontally, depending on how you click it. Um, so you can like barrel through um, really fast uh, a whole bunch of dirt um, and it's really useful uh, as well um, there's uh, you know we'll also do the same thing with um, there's I think it's called uh, I want to say it's called, just called a hammer um, but we're going to do the same thing with stone so that it'll be really fast to go through stone as well because, I mean, there will be things that we're going to do where we're going to want a whole bunch of stone. Um, I know, for example, for us, you know, we're going to need a whole lot of sand uh, in order to build um, all the glass that we're going to need in order to glass off the ravine, right? So um, to do that, we're going to have to just, you know, be able to uh, harvest uh, sand on a really fast level and, and doing it one to one by one it's just not going to work. Um, so um, it's just it's going to work out um, best for us. So I'm going to take this now, even though it's only halfway, and show you here. All right, so I'm going to just blast through five here. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, not too long. One, two, three, four, five. Marginally faster, right? But think about it this way. That's only one level of haste. Let's see if we have any more redstone, because we'll just use the redstone up if we have any. We do. Oh, we have a bunch of redstone. Okay. Redstone block. Twelve of them. Absolutely fine. 
All right, so let's put that in there. Now we're at level two. There we go. All right. Let's see if we can get up another 50 here. Oh, okay. 100 is the maximum. Okay. So now that we're up another 50, let's take a look now. See how much faster that is? That is so much faster. Okay, you might have missed that. So let's do this one more time here. So this is the diamond. And this is the hasted one. So much faster. Ridiculously faster. Um, it's going to save us a whole lot of time. Especially you know, when we're doing the, the strip mining, which you saw earlier you know, when I was talking, um, that is going to be way less tedious now. Puppy, you should probably get out from under you, from back there. All right. Yeah, so you see that this is going to save us a whole lot of time now. So that's going to be um, this episode, I believe. Let's uh, take a look. And uh, yeah, no, you know, I think we can go a little bit longer. Um, I think what we're going to do now is we're going to um, we're going to build a farm. I'm going to show you how to build a farm really fast. Um, I'm actually going to build it off of this room. Uh, just for convenience sake, um, let's build it here. And you'll also be able to see just how fast I can I can clear out a room. And um, we're going to build this uh, a few high here. And there we go. And let's see, how many wide do I want to make this? I think I want to make, well, we'll see. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more. All right, so what else about me? Uh, <laughs> so, uh, actually, Minecraft is uh, kind of out of the ordinary for me as far as games go. Um, it's, you know, it's kind of a creative game. It's uh um, you know, it's not exactly uh, skill-based, it's more of a knowledge-based thing, um, <clears throat> and, you know, it's, it's, uh, th you know, it's, th there is a survival element to it, um, that's undeniable, um, but, uh, the reality of the game is that, you know, it's, it's mostly just you just breaking up blocks and building stuff and, you know, hanging out. That's basically the game, right? Um, and uh, for me, I am not a big fan of these kind of games. Um, I'm actually more of a first-person shooter player. Um, and yes, this game is in first-person, but I don't really consider this a first-person shooter. You know, there's no... Um, yes, you are fighting monsters in first-person perspective and blah, 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 blah. But as far as um, actually, like... You know, um, you know, uh, doing the kind of things that you would do in, say, a Call of Duty game, or you know, uh, or something similar. Uh, you, that's just not happening in this game, right? I mean, the things that are happening in this game is that. Um, oops, there we go. Uh, we'll toss it out there uh, and toss out luggage here. Uh, I mean, what are we doing here? We're just, um, we're breaking blocks. Right? That's what we're doing. Uh, let me drop these off 
really fast here. Um, so, but, you know, what is it about this game that draws me? Um, I, I can't really say for certain, but I can tell you that the, um, that there is something to this game, uh, for me, as far as, um, you know, something, something I'm not getting from first person shooters generally, but, but no, um, if you looked at my Steam profile, for example, um, the game that I have probably the most hours in is actually, um, yeah, like I said, I was a first person shooter, but, um, I'm also, um, kind of a strategy, uh, gamer, um, so if you looked at my Steam profile, the, the top game would be, um, um, it would be Civilization V. I have, like, you know, a few hundred hours, um, put into Civilization V. Um, and then the second one after that would be Crusader Kings 2. I, I just have a whole lot of, um, hours into that game as well. Um, uh, and the draw to, to that game, actually, I think does actually parallel my experiences with this game, uh, in that, uh, Crusader Kings it is not exactly, you know, uh, a graphically impressive game. Uh, uh, it's it's not it's not aesthetically ugly, you know, per se, but it um, it it doesn't you know go out of its way to dazzle you with with spectacle like say a Battlefield would or um, Crisis or or something like that. Um, but what it does is the system that it has basically gives you, uh, uh, the best, like, emergent storyline creation that I've pretty much ever seen in a game. But it's all in your head, right? It's all, um, you know, your family's dynasty, um, you know, and it's, it's all about, um, oh, why am I using this pick? Oh, uh, alright, um... It's all about your family's dynasty and, you know, uh, you know, your heirs and, you know, the, the political situations that are going on. Um, oh, and once again, I turned off, uh, Wayla. Um, and so what, what's amazing to me about, um, Crusader Kings, uh, is how, um, uh, is how you can create these stories, right? You know, for example, if, um, you know, if you're playing along and, uh, you know, one of your heirs, um, murders the other heir, right? So that's that's a, there's a story there, right? Or if um, you know you had to marry um, someone that you didn't want to because uh, you know their their parents had um, some land that you wanted to conquer, you know, for example. Um, all of that uh, you know plays in there, and that's a story that will that emerges, you know, or. Uh, a great example that I always bring up is, um, <clears throat> you know, there was this uh, game I was playing where I had a really troublesome, um, uh, really troublesome vassal who um, kept on rebelling against me, and I, I mean, like, this, I th it might, must have happened like three times, and each time that it happened. Um, uh, at, or after the third time, I decided enough was enough, and I started um, assassinating his uh, his heirs. Um, and uh, every time that would happen, you know, I would, um, you know, um, there would be a notification that he was, he's upset with me, and then he would rebel again, and I would capture him, and I would release him from prison. Um, and I wouldn't execute him because I wanted, I didn't want to like, you know, upset other vassals by, um, 
uh, my other vassals by being a cruel leader outwardly. Um, so I kept on taking out his heirs, his children. Um, and, you know, it's it was one of those things where it was just like, oh, there's a story emerging here um, <clears throat> that isn't, you know, necessarily, um, you know, uh, driven by the game, but is driven by uh, how I perceive my ruler to, to rule. Um, obviously, you know, it doesn't it doesn't make a whole lot of sense for you to, to, to kill off uh, all of those all of those children because um, it, it just doesn't make any sense uh, to do that um, um, but I did because it, I, I felt like there was like some roleplay element to it right um, so I'm drawn the games like that uh, like Crusader Kings um, and you know, like Civ V, um, where there's there's a lot of oh my god, I'm running out of space for stuff. Seriously, why aren't you picking this stuff up? Thanks. Um, yeah, so. What I was going to say was, uh, the thing that, that, uh, and again, I'm using that stupid <laughs> diamond pick, which I, uh, is basically worthless to me right now. Um, um, yeah, so, what was I going to say? So, basically, what I was going to say was that uh, Minecraft, I think, um, feels a bit like a story generator, um, but it doesn't really fit anything that I normally play. Um, generally, I'm playing, you know, um, actually, you know, this this will fit for, 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 yeah, this will do for now. Um, Minecraft doesn't fit the, the stereotype of what I play um, particularly well. Um, generally, I'm playing a zombie. Come on. I mean, generally, I'm playing Twitch games. Uh, I'm, you know... Um, just for the most part, I'm um, I'm not. Uh, oh, I need another bucket. Um, I'm not like trying to you know build huge you know um, contraptions and the you know. Um, most of, I guess, what you would say is the fun of of this game is not something that I'm like super. Um, I'm, it's not that I'm. It's not that I'm not into it. It's just I'm not like, I'm not like. Oh my god, I'm drawn to this this game because I can build these huge structures that um, that you know it reminds me of like playing with Lego and blah blah blah. Like that's to me. That's not really. It's not really the the thing for me. Um, um, actually, and I'm gonna make some bone meal here too. Oh, I have another. Okay. Um, hold on. I just need to make one more thing here, and I think I need puppy's help. Uh, I need some sticks, and I need some gobblestone. I gotta build a stone hoe um, so yeah yeah this game doesn't does not fit my normal um, gaming you know um, it doesn't really fit what I would normally play um, 
while something like Bioshock Infinite would. Okay, so um, here's how I grow stuff here. Um, you make a a long trough that is one wide and with a one deep uh, trough in the middle um, and as long as it's uh, one two three one two that should be fine um, you can create an infinite uh, water here by just um, putting I believe it will be infinite oh no it needs one more um, that's okay um, but no 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 I, I generally I play more story based games uh, and puzzle games and things like that this doesn't really fit what I would normally play um, but I think it's you know um, might be in part due to um, finding it at work and um, just there's a lot of nice things about this game the way it, the way it relaxes you um, but yeah, so yeah, you take that hoe, uh, you can right click, um, and there needs to be water in the square next to it. Um, and things need to have a lot of light to grow. So I'm going to. Let me go ahead and pop some, some candles, or not candles, some torches around here. bring up the overall light level in the room a little bit. Alright, and now we wait for this to grow, or do we? Um, actually, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these bones, and I'm going to make some bone meal. Because I'm starving. And I'm going to use it. And with bone meal, if you don't have never used it before, um, it will instagrow um, your crops, um, and that one grow about 50%. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some fertilizer, um, which the fertilizer is by taking uh, appetite, or I believe fertilizer. in sand. Yep, appetite in sand, or ash, or, yep, sand, um, which we don't have much of, but that's okay. We're gonna go get some more eventually. And we're gonna make some, some fertilizer. And with this fertilizer, um, will work just like the bone meal will. There we go. Alright, and now, since that's mature, now we can harvest these. And let's take the seeds. And you see that we got more seeds back than the, what we put into it, which is good. So now I can make uh, and put more down. And take that fertilizer and do the same thing. Two fertilizer. Make that mature. Oh, I guess it might take three. which is fine.
and then we'll just break these up. And again, you can get a, um, I believe it's a scythe, which can um, um, essentially speed that process up. Oh, that time we only had eight seeds. Um, that's okay. Put some more down. And this time I'm just going to let them grow, since now I have a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of wheat now. Alright. So, what we should do now is take a look at wheat here. Um, and see how best we can bake bread. Alright, so we can either make it with, by just putting three wheat, um, or we can smelt a piece of wheat flour, uh, and one wheat flour is one bread. Uh, or, yeah, uh, or we can use redstone furnace to make the wheat flour into bread. But I think, oh, and that reminds me, Haha! -ha. This dynamo over here continues to work uh, if you leave it on. You can see now that we're at 39 where we'll host the whole stack in there. So I'm going to turn this off now that we're not using it. Oh, actually, we should just use it because we need to refill our... refill this. Okay, so um, we're going to build a redstone furnace and we're going to build... Um, wait, how do we make the flour though? How do we make wheat flour? Oh, easy enough. Okay. So, like that, and like that. There we go. Um, so, redstone furnace we need to build. And just so you know, when we build this redstone furnace, this thing is actually going to replace our other furnaces. Um, because there, it'll just be much more efficient. Um, for each of these... Uh, each of these coal is going to produce way more RFs um, than it's going to do in a furnace. Um, and it's just going to be way more efficient for us in the long run. So let's go ahead and figure out how to build this. So we need bricks. Uh, which we need clay. It's not one thing, it's another, isn't it? I think we used all the clay for the... Didn't we? Yeah, we did. Alright. That will have to wait. So for now, we'll take this and we'll just make it the old-fashioned way. Alright. So I think I'm going to cut it here um, with this episode. Uh, and so I showed you how to build a farm. And now we have um, the uh, pickaxe that we're going to use pretty much uh, until we go to the nether. And uh, now we have um, uh, a bunch of obsidian um, because we had farmed it from before. Um, and we can go to the nether next, um, but I think... Before we go to the nether, I think the thing that we're going to do is probably figure out the storage solutions first. Um, so the next episode that I'm going to make, um, we're going to focus on storage solutions and going to focus on inventory management um, and try to make some sense out of what we have here. I think it's going to mean some, some for sure forestry on my part. Um, because I'm going to build a whole lot of these barrels. Um, but I'm going to do all of that off camera. Um, so next time uh, we come in, we'll also build more of these thermal expansion. Uh, oh, there we go. Nice and done. We'll build more of these therm therm bleh, thermal expansion uh, uh, machines. Um, and I'll show you what they do. There's a great one called uh, the Pulverizer. Um, there's also a really great sawmill one um, that 
uh, just makes uh, some really nice side of, uh, it does a much better job at, at um, handling raw wood uh, and it will also give us access to rubber um, so we can do some things with that. Um, there's just a lot coming here and it's going to come pro pretty soon after all of this. And then I think once we finish the nether stuff and we have say an infinite amount of lava um, we'll have um, we'll have all the tools that we want then we can start doing the fun stuff which is you know everything to do with um, the ravine the way it looks um, and different buildings um, and start doing the things that I, I really want to do but I want to get all this stuff out of the way first okay thanks for watching and uh, um, I will see you soon